Hello. Happy Monday. I am back. Okay, let's see. Make sure everything's working. I've been having technical difficulties the last few times I've been live ever since Facebook did their most recent update. So I am hopeful that um, since I did not go live last Monday for Memorial Day weekend, that some of those glitches have been worked out. So I'm seeing some people hop on. Um, I want to make sure I can see, oh yay, I can see comments again. This makes my heart so happy. I was getting so frustrated the last few weeks. <sighs> hi Debbie, hi Kay. So glad you could make it. Welcome back to another Make It Monday. I um, hope that you can hear me all right. I am upstairs in my craft room and we do not have central air. Hi, Julie. Um, we don't have central air, so I have one of those little portable air conditioners with like the hose that goes out the window um, behind my desk. And I hope that it is not too loud for all of you. I hope you're able to hear me over that. Um, I actually work from home in this room too. I have a desk set up over there in the corner and they were telling me today that they could not hear the air conditioner was at when I was on. So I am hoping that is the same for all of you. Hi Paula, hi Sharon. I'm so happy to be back. I hope you all enjoyed your long Memorial Day weekend. Um, I took Monday off from my live to enjoy the long weekend as well. And um, let me tell you, it was a much needed break. <laughs> I really have a lot going on all the time and today is no different. My hair is still wet from the pool. So my water aerobics classes um, started tonight. I love to go to water aerobics at our local pool here in the summer. And so today was a really hectic day. I literally, I got, up, I did some stamping up, um, catching up this morning from my vacation last week. And I worked all day and then um, I went straight to the pool. I came home, I didn't even have time to eat and here I am stamping with you guys. Vicki says she does not hear my air conditioner. Okay, good. Whew, don't want you to not miss out. So, <clears throat> It's been crazy and um, sometimes I got to thinking, what makes me special as a stamper or someone teaching stamping to all of you and inspiring you? And I think one of the things that um, I have wisdom in that I can share with all of you is about um, stamping on when you're busy, when you've got a lot of stuff crammed into your day. Um, and that's why I make simple, stunning cards. I like to make sweet and simple cards. So tonight I thought, you know, when we need that stamping fix, um, and we wanna make something cute and, you know, we don't have a lot of time when we get in our room, we just wanna get to stamping. I thought I would show you where I get some inspiration and how I get my creativity flowing. So we're going to be getting some inspiration from the catalog tonight. and. I think that using the catalog as inspiration, frankly, is a bit underrated. Uh, so I'm gonna share some tips with you and kind of take you through my process and show you how I turn some inspiration from the catalog into my own card with my own little um, touch, our artistic flair to it. So Super happy you're all here. For those who are new to watching my videos, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. My name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm super passionate about creativity and sharing creativity with others. So I would love it if you would take a minute and share my video on your Facebook timeline or send it in a messenger message to some of your friends who like to craft. I especially love it when you share on Facebook timeline though. And if you share using the hashtag, I'm gonna switch my camera here so you can see it. The hashtag at the bottom, country cards by Rose live, then you are entered um, this hashtag right down here. Then you are entered into a drawing for a prize. If you are catching the replay, you can still share using that hashtag 
and be entered to win the prize. You don't have to watch me live to catch, uh, to be entered for the prize. Um, so just remember that hashtag, although I do the drawing next week. So you only have a week from between now and when I go live next time to be entered. And if you are catching the replay and you happen to be catching it on YouTube, I have tons of inspirational and um, informational videos about stamping. So just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel down there on the bottom. It's probably over here, right hand corner. Um, so you have all my videos in one handy place. If you're looking for more inspiration from me, um, you can check out my blog, www.rosegrunewald.com. All sorts of resources there too, tons. So, all right, I think we should get to stamping. So many of you popping on. It's so good to see and chat with all of you again. It's been a while, huh? So I spent the week up north um, hanging out with my little nieces and nephew, three of them under the age of four. And um, in my downtime and um, before they got up north, I was looking through my catalog for inspiration for what I could make on Monday, tonight. And I got this stamp set. I think I won it on my from my upline or something like that. This Biggest Wish stamp set. I've had my eye on this ever since I saw it in the catalog. Um, it's got 11 images. I love the mixed fonts, as you know. So um, I wanted to do something with the stamp set. Now, the first thing I always do when I'm going to use a stamp set is open up to the page that it's in the catalog and I take a look at what Stampin' Up! did with it. Now, I personally love this simple card here that just says thanks and use our artistically inked paper. I really wanted to do something similar to this, but this paper I think is not available or the suite is not available. And so I didn't want to show you something you couldn't get your hands on. So I thought I would show you something you can get your hands on. And I was actually inspired by this box here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. And turn on one more light. So this is a little mini paper pumpkin box and it's got um, a piece from the flower market die um, here. And then there looks like another piece of paper and some ribbon. And then the sentiment is, it looks like on a tag or something like that. And then some of the gold pieces from the Expressions in Ink ephemera pack here. So this is my inspiration for tonight. Now I want to make a card. So we're gonna set this to the side here. Actually, I might set it over here just so we can kind of see this and be reminded of our inspiration and it's easy to grab. All right. Now, one other thing I have had my eye on, and I think I mentioned this the last time I made um, a, a card with my live is, so in my June class to go, I'm featuring the hand pen bundle. So you get to make, um, you get to make 12 cards in that class. I've got three cards I'll show you here. So you get to make this pretty card. Oh, I love this one and all the fun layers. And then this one is really fun. There's some texture with the die piece cut behind there. Well, all these cards are featuring the hand penned memories and more pack. And ever since I opened it up, this piece right here has caught my eye and I want to make something with it. So I thought this layout might be perfect for what I want to do with this piece. So this is my other piece of inspiration. Now, if you haven't looked through this hand penned uh, memories and more pack, um, let me just say, oh my goodness. Look at how pretty these pieces are. Just gorgeous. Of course, they're double-sided, just like our designer series paper. 
And with my class to go for June, you get a whole pack of these included in there. But I'm gonna use this piece here. Okay. Now we're doing a little stampin' on the fly. I have not actually made um, a, a sample card with this yet. Oh, isn't this side pretty too? Where flowers bloom, so does hope. I love that. So cute. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got two coordinating colors with this piece of paper here for our color palette. We've got Highland Heather and Mint Macaron. And when I'm going to do some layering, which I know I'm going to do here, I always like to play around and see, okay, which way do I want to layer it? Do I want the matting of mint macaron with a Highland Heather card base, or do I want it the other way around? So as I was getting these out, I kind of played around with that. And I decided that I wanted to go with the Highland Heather card base. And I think this is the right size because I have some scrap card bases in my folder. So this looks right. Yep, this is just a half a sheet of cardstock. So five and a half. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to take my piece of macaron and we're going to go at four inches. by five and a quarter. So this is just a quarter inch smaller than our finished card size. <clears throat> okay, now I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut this piece down. Let me see how tall this is. This is four inches, and I think I'm gonna go just an eighth of an inch smaller. So. I don't know if you know this, but on our stamping, our paper trimmer here, every little hash mark here is a 16th of an inch. So two of them is an eighth of an inch. So I'm going an eighth of an inch smaller than four inches. So it's gonna be three and seven eighths. And then I need to be just an eighth of an inch shorter than this other way as well so that we're centered. So instead of five and a quarter, I will go five and an eighth. And I actually think, I always pay attention to what I'm gonna be cutting off when I do this. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut here. I might be able to use this for something else. So of course I'm gonna save this. And now when we cut it at that size, we're going to end up with this matting that's just peeking out behind our card front layer. So I use these memories and more packs just like I use our designer series paper. So someone just said they're sorry I keep cutting out. I don't know, Pat, Pat, I don't know if that's on um, your end or my end. I don't seem to be seeing issues here on my end. Okay, now. I don't actually have any tag dies. I want some, but I don't have them yet. So um, I think what I'm gonna do, I like the stitching look here. I was playing around with kind of looking here at what I had for the size of these sentiments. And I think, now this is our Tasteful Labels dies. I think, um, birthday. I think that this size might work great. Thanks. Hello, friend. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use this size here. Cindy says it's cutting out there, too. Hmm. I do not know why it's doing that, but at least they can see your stuff. Um, I'm going to have to keep playing but 
I was having, oh, Gloria says no cutting out by her. Okay, good, good. So some people are having issues, others are not. Um, okay, I'm going to cut the inside piece right away for our inside layer, and I'm going to go five and a quarter by four. And then what I'll do is just use what I have left over as a scrap for die cutting this. Okay, sounds like it's cutting out for a lot of people. Sorry, I'm not able to fix it at all without stopping my live here and we're just too far into it. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Um, all right, let me grab my, and you know, I think what I'm gonna do here, actually, let me see how wide this is. I thought I did like two and a quarter. This would be plenty wide. That way I'm not wasting all this extra paper here. Yep. We're going to use my baby boss. Okay. You know I'm giving one of these away, right? I am. I'm giving away a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. As soon as I hit a thousand followers on my Facebook page, I'm giving away a little baby boss. So make sure you share my page with all your friends, share it on your wall, tell your friends to go like my page. As soon as I hit a thousand followers, I will do a drawing for this baby boss for all the people who follow my page. How exciting would that be to win a little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine? All right. So, uh, let's do a little stamping here. I'm gonna grab a sheet. All right, so I'm gonna do Happy and birthday. So let's find my happy. And I think I should do my mint macaron and Highland Heather again. So I got my happy all mounted here and birthday. will mount here. So I am mounting, just so you're curious of the block size, I'm mounting birthday on an H block and I mounted happy on a C block. All right, so Highland Heather and Mint Macaron. Let's test this together. So here's another tip for you. Um, I like to play around with the tones. I think the full bore is too dark. So, yeah. And the other thing we could do is try it the other way too. Let's try that. We could do birthday as our solid. And happy is our mixed pot here. So let's try those out and see what one we'd like. I think I'm gonna maybe like this one better. Okay. Happy birthday. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Here 
in the picture, they did happy with the birthday over the top. So I think I'm going to do it that way. I don't know why I just closed this because I'm totally going to need it. Okay, so I've got my happy here. I'm going to stamp off because I want that lighter tone of mint macaron. And actually, I didn't get it super inked up. Let me clean this off and try starting from scratch here because I got a bunch of ink in between my letters. So there we go. All right, we'll stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp this onto our tag. And then in Highland Heather, I'm going to stamp the birthday right over the top of it. What do you think? Do you like that? I'm liking it. Now, we also have some, this looks like Daffodil Delight here. So let me grab my Daffodil Delight. And in here, we have some of these cute little tiny plus signs. And I'm going to stamp those across the front of our banner. What do you think? Do you like that? I love this layering. And of course you can play around with the different colors. Oops. Do what you like. Now, I did not do this in the center on purpose because this piece is gonna be tucked under our bow. So we're using this as inspiration here. And this is tucked under, so I did. I thought that this piece would tuck under since I don't have it um, a hole as a tag to do it. All right, so set this aside. Let's get our card base ready. Ooh, Robin loves those step stamps. Joan's heading to bed. You know what, Joan? That sounds really nice. But here's the deal. I got The Bachelorette to watch yet after this tonight. Does anyone watch The Bachelorette? It's one of my guilty pleasures. I always watch it after my Make It Monday, and I get to bed late. And tonight I have more energy because I had my water aerobics. So I'm wide awake. All right. I am gluing down our focal point kind of card here image. Our pretty flowers onto our mint macaron piece. Okay. So Here is where I thought that this gold, what is this? This is our, um, I just got this the other day, our gold shimmer ribbon. And I think it is just absolutely stunning, gorgeous, so pretty. And I really, really wanted to use it on a card. So we're going to use it on this card for our ribbon. Hey, Char from Amro. Hey, Robin, how are you? Gosh, so many of you. I feel like I haven't talked to you for so long. It really feels like a long time when you miss a week of going live. I'm telling you. Okay, now, 
I am going to tie this, let's see. I think this will be good. I'm going to tie this ribbon, but I want this a little longer. We're gonna tie this in a bow. And I kind of want a nice big bow for this. Of course, when you're tying a bow on camera, it never, never goes well. But actually, this one didn't turn out too bad. Seems a little loose. Uh, that's okay. Okay, then I like to just play around with the ends of my bow here and get them like the loops and everything the size I want. And I always like to snip the ribbon off at an angle. So we have a nice big bow here. See that? Super easy, just tied it in a bow. And now we're gonna come in. So here's our inspiration. I'm gonna come in and I want this tucked right up under that bow, just like this. So I'm going to grab a couple glue dots. And as I like to tuck layers underneath, I like to use glue dots. So we're going to grab this. We're just going to stick this underneath our bow at an angle. So it looks like I've got this tied on as a tag, but it's really just tucked under there. Like that. Now let's grab for fun, because I think these are gorgeous, these little metal trinkets. I don't know if this ephemera pack, I think the last time I looked, it was on back order two. Um, but if you have it, or when you get your hands on it, these little gold leaf trinkets in here are going to be just perfect for adding just a little sprig in with your projects. Like just a little touch of gold. And I'm gonna keep out those rhinestones too. Now again, whenever I'm tucking stuff like this, I'm gonna be using a glue dot. So just come in here, grab my glue dot. And if I have room, I'll tuck it here under my, there we go, just like so. Under my layer. And then I'll do the next with my other little gold piece. This slide this under, just like this. Now the good thing about these blue dots is um, rather than have them stick up, I like to kind of stick my ribbon over the top. So see how that looks? Isn't that cool? Shiny and pretty and so amazing. All right, let's get out our dimensionals.
And we're going to, whoops, stick this on. And center this on our card front. Oh my gosh, I am loving how this is coming together. Of course, we need some bling, right? So, since I've got my ephemera pack here, these really pretty um, sequins like they're iridescent are in here. And I'm going to add these to the card. Hmm. I'm going to go here. And then we'll do one more right here. And I like to do these in odd numbers. So I've got three over there. I'm going to do one, and two over here. All right, now let's get our pretty little plus signs, or just our cute little design from our stamp set. And let's do a little stamping on the inside. So I've got some of my Highland Heather, and then I will fill in a couple with Mint Macaron. And I like to keep that um, color theme going then right to the inside of our card. Just like that. And this isn't much, it's just adding a little pop of color to the inside. And then we'll just glue this just a little something to bling up the inside of our card. There we have it. We are done. What do you think? Do you love that card? I think it's super gorgeous. And of course you can place your bow how you like. Now, if we go back to our catalog here. Here was our inspiration and here's our final card. do you think? You love it? I see I lost a ton of you because of internet issues. I just don't know what I can do about that. I, it's not skipping on my end, so it's so frustrating. So sorry for all of you who had to drop off. But this was a simple way to use those pretty products that have been catching our eye 
and I go right to the catalog for inspiration to make a beautiful card. All right, thanks so much for joining me. That's all I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed this project and found some inspiration. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of um, copying from the catalog, but kind of switching it up to give you some inspiration. I hear from so many of you that you have all these wonderful products and you're not always sure how to use them. Um, and I wanna make sure that you get the most out of everything that you purchase and have on your stamping shelves. So I think that that would be a fun series to try. All right, I'll be here again next week, Monday, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for another Make It Monday Live. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Um, I have the link to, if you like the Memories and More pack, I have a link to my class to go um, in the description here so you can order that before the pre-order is done and that way you can get your hands on all those pretty little pieces of um, like designer series paper type uh, cardstock so all right have a good one i'll be seeing you all soon thanks bye